He saw the universal capacity to carry out harms of great magnitude. Lemkin knew that no one was safe. Raphael Lemkin was a Polish Jew, and when Hitler invaded Poland, 47 members of his family were herded up and killed. I became interested in terrible suffering because it happened so many times. I said to myself, I'm going to do something about it. Lemkin came with a new idea to transform these massacres into a crime. Something clicked in him. Maybe if I had a better word, maybe then governments would ban the mass murder of civilians. Genocide. So he has a word. Now what? How did one little guy go about trying to reform the world? Lemkin turned himself into a one-man lobbying machine. The convention is adopted by unanimous vote. Let's open up the world and let light and knowledge come in. Today is a milestone. No criminal court has filed genocide charges against the president of Sudan. This monstrous conflict has to come to an end. I'm myself a survivor of genocide. These people are waiting for our protection. We don't need to wait until he finishes his work. That was Lemkin's point, that perpetrators will be watched, that they will be accountable. I think at the same time we have to stop and say, we stop here. is a difference between life or death. I cannot fail. We cannot fail. I always think about the privilege, you know, of getting to try, just to try. <laughs>